Welcome to the tutorial for the Songbook DB request plugin for PC DJ Karaoke. This allows you to have requests that singers send via the Songbook DB network to jump straight into your singer folder in Karaoke. I cover a lot in this video. If you want to skip through parts you already know, I have the times indexed below the video on YouTube. Now, as I'm recording this, we are still in beta testing for this product, so make sure you check back here for any updates to the video that show any tweaks or new features that we've added. Also, if you are completely new to Songbook DB, go check out the quick start video first before you watch this one. That will get you up to speed with how Songbook DB works and how all the pieces come together. If you've already done that, then let's get started with a quick overview of how the plugin and Karaokai work together. You have the Songbook DB plugin for Karaokai on your computer. You also have Karaokai on your computer. You make a couple of changes to Karaokai settings so that it knows you want to use the plugin. You'll only have to do this once. The next time you're at a gig, and you open Karaokai, the plugin will automatically open also. You switch requests on in the plugin, select your venue, and then requests begin to arrive from singers. Karaokai alerts you that a request has arrived, you open the plugin from Karaokai, and either manually add the request from the plugin into the singer folder in Karaokai, or use the auto add feature so that the request automatically jumps into the singer's folder. If you've already got a Songbook DB account, contact us so that we can convert it to a PC DJ Karaokai plugin account for you. Depending on what your current account is, there may also be a price difference. If you don't already have a Songbook DB account, jump over to songbookdb.com go up to the top menu and then click on register a songbook account. Scroll down till you see the PC DJ Karaoke button and click that to end up at the correct sign up page. Scroll down and the first thing you want to enter is your show name. Next up your country and then the general area in which your gigs will be. Now you want to choose an admin login, this is an email address, and a password. After that, choose a username and password for the request login. Now we have a separate login for requests because companies that have multiple DJs may not want their DJs having access to the admin section, but will want them to have access to the request section. However, if you're the only DJ in your company, or you don't mind if your DJs know the admin login details, tick this checkbox to make your admin and request logins the same. Tell us how you found out about us, complete the anti-spam, tick yes, and then register. Click the activation link in the email we send you, and you'll end up at this page. Every DJ that registers is allocated a five character random code. This is what singers type into their phone on the Songbook DB app to get to your book. If you don't like that random code, you can purchase a personalized code. Prices start from $9, but we're not going to do that here. We'll keep the allocated code. Scroll down, you'll see the download buttons for Songbook DB Pal. The desktop app that you use to create and upload your songbook and the request plugin. So go ahead and download and install those. You will need Adobe Air if you haven't already got that. Jump over to Adobe and install Air. Let's go back to our activation page. Further down you'll find buttons for the quick start video, the documentation and more tutorial videos as well. And at the very end, we have a promotional tools page where you can create a QR code and posters that make it really easy for the public to connect to your songbook. 
Links to all of these features are included in the registration emails that we send you, so you can easily get back to these pages. Okay, before we start connecting the plugin to Karaokai, we need to get our songs from Karaokai onto Songbook DB so that singers can search our songs. That's a two step process. Step one export our songs from Karaokai as a TSV file. And step two load that TSV file into Songbook DB PAL and upload it to Songbook DB. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on the case you want to export. Export case as a TSV. And there she goes. Done. 5,000 songs, just like that. Now we jump into Songbook DB PAL. I'm going to assume that you've already checked out the quick start video about how to set up Songbook DB and Songbook DB PAL. So I won't go through logging in and everything like that here. We'll just get straight to importing a TSV file. Now you can import this file into a current song list in Songbook DB PAL, or if you don't have a song list set up, you can create a new one like I'll do here. Pick a name for the song file, and she's ready to go. Right, we want to go to the import drop down and select TSV file. Choose the rig we want to import to, rig one's fine, and then select our file. And there she goes, those 5,000, well, near enough 5,000 songs imported into Songbook DB PAL. Hit upload. And once this is done, our songs will be online, ready for singers to search. Once again, if you didn't understand any of that process there, check out the main quick start video and that will get you up and running. Now that our songs are set up, let's set up the connection between Karaokai and the plugin. In Karaokai, click the Options menu. Choose Remote Connections. And there are three things we have to set up here. The first one is in the options menu. Select Shutdown Client Applications Plugins on Exit. Check that it is selected. That's good. The next one in the Songbook DB menu. Auto Start Songbook DB Plugin. Check that it is selected. Good. And lastly, hit the Remote Enable button. The plugin should now open. Right, I'll just bring it into view. And there it goes, ready for us to log in and start receiving requests. Now I'm just going to shut down the plugin and shut down Karaokai, and then restart Karaokai so you can see how it automatically starts up the plugin. There she goes, plugin auto starting, and back to the start screen. Now, something to be aware of, just in the settings tab in the plugin. These represent the connection between the plugin and Karaokai. They are the default settings and they will work fine as long as the plugin and Karaokai are on the same machine. But if you want to have the plugin on a different machine to Karaokai, you can do that. Jump back into Karaokai, down to the remote connections pop up, and take note of the IP address of your machine that Karaokai is on. And then jump back into the plugin. You want to enter that IP address into the address field here. Then hit connect and it should all be fine. But for most DJs, just leave it as it is. Okay, the quick tour. The default screen is where you receive requests. The next screen to take note of is the account screen where you log in and also set up your subscription when your free trial runs out. The shout out screen, shout out lets you send messages out to the crowd. I won't go over that in this video. It's exactly the same setup in Songbook DB PAL. So go check out the quick start video to get up to speed on that. Right, the screen went a bit jumpy then because this is new video footage that I've recorded to accommodate some new features. We are already familiar with the karaoke connection settings. I discussed them earlier. But over here, you can now change the font size for the app. It affects the tabs and the data in the request grid. 
we have a help screen, contact and about. Right, let's go ahead and log in. We'll tick the remember me checkbox so we don't have to do this again. And the plugin retrieves the venues we've got set up in our Songbook DB Pal gig guide. Now, you may not have any venues set up, so you'll see an error message here. It tells you to go set up your venues in Pal. If you don't know how to do that, go check out the quick start video. I cover all of that in there. So I'll go ahead and choose the venue I want to log into, and there it is. You'll notice the status light is green now. That tells us we are connected to the server and we're ready to receive requests. Right, our plugin is connected to Karaokai. We are logged in and requests are turned on. So let's jump into the Singer app and send ourselves a song request. So we are working happily away in Karaokai and then bang, a request comes in. So click this to bring up the plugin and you can see our request has arrived. It's a greeny blue color because new requests are greeny blue. It was requested by Sean. The song is Chikatita. It's by ABBA. There's the disc ID, the time it came in and over here is the add button. Click this and it will add the request to Karaokai. It also updates the status of the request on the Songbook DB server, but it all happens so fast typically that it looks like one operation. Now by default, requests are hidden after you add them, but you can always view them by ticking this show hide added checkbox. I'll leave it ticked so we can see what we're doing. So let's go check out the request in Karaokai. You get to Karaokai by clicking the big blue button in the middle of the plugin. So open the Singer data pop-up, and there we can see there is a Singer folder for Sean, and Chikatita by ABBA is all ready to go. Okay, say you don't want to have to manually add the request to Karaokai, you can come up to here and switch on this handy little auto add feature. So the next time requests come in, bang, the plugin automatically adds them to Karaokai and automatically updates the request status on the Songbook DB server. Now for this example, I deleted a song file from Karaokai so you can get to see what happens when a song request doesn't make it through to Karaokai successfully. You get this nice bright pink row that indicates there's something you need to take care of. And under the error column, it gives you a bit of information about what happened. As we get further into the development of this plugin, we'll add more detail into the error codes so you can quickly figure out what's gone wrong. Right, it's the beginning of the night. We have three requests in already. Things are shaping up pretty good. Then the singer decides to go to their song request folder and cancel a song. There it is, gone. Meanwhile, we're back in Karaokai and we get a request alert come in. Click the request alert to get to the plugin and there's the cancelled song. So what we want to do now is come over here and just delete it out of the system. Yes please, gone. Now, the song will still be in the singers folder in Karaokai. We are toying with the idea of automatically deleting cancelled songs from the singer data and rotation in Karaokai. We haven't added that feature yet. Maybe it would freak you out if requests started disappearing from Karaokai. But if it's a feature you'd like, let us know and we'll put it in. Urgh. It's happened several weeks in a row. This dude, Sean, has put a song up, and every time you call out his name, no one turns up. He's probably at home playing some sort of joke. So you can ban his ass. So go ahead and let's ban him. Yes, please. Gone. So what that means, if he tries to send you a request now, his phone will say, no, you've been banned, go see the DJ. Now, if he comes up and he's like, dude, why did you ban me? 
I'm just really shy. I don't know how to get up and sing karaoke. Okay, he's not jerking you around like you thought. Then you can unban him. Just go to the banned users list and delete him from it. That's simple. Now again, his songs will still be in karaoke. If you want us to add a feature where banning a singer automatically deletes the songs from karaoke as well, let us know and we'll add that feature in. Buzz is a simple and effective way to let singers know, hey, your song is ready to sing. So when you send a buzz message, this is what the singer will see on their phone. And that's it for this tutorial. You can find more tutorials at songbookdv.com forward slash tutorials.